Sometimes you have a memory of something from the past you didn't think was real. And then years later, certain events can happen that make you question, maybe that distant memory was actually real after all. This was one of those times. I will just tell it as it happened, unembellished, however bizarre it may sound at times. I grew up in a regular two-story house in a village in England. It was at the end of a quiet cul-de-sac, so had a larger, distinctive diamond-shaped back garden. It backed onto the gardens of houses on a main road behind, which was a much busier and well-lit road than ours. Starting at around the age of four to five years old, I would regularly have a recurring dream. I would go to bed and fall asleep. I would wake up sometime during the night and become aware I was floating in the darkness up above the roof of our house. It was always dark, but there was enough ambient light from the nearby streetlights or moonlight to make out what was below. Normally, I would be facing down towards the roof, staring at the roof tiles. Sometimes I would be facing upwards, in which case I would roll over to face downwards. As I said, it was a two-story house, so it was quite high up, but it didn't bother me. I would feel lighter than a feather as I looked back down at the roof below, just floating there for a short while. Soon I would slowly start to float off across the rooftops, head first and face down, and always in the same direction. Always. I can still clearly remember looking down from high up and seeing our back garden pass underneath me as I silently glided through the darkness of night, heading off over the back fences. The angle I would go meant I would go over the fence to the left side of our garden first, followed by the fences to the gardens of the houses at the back. Then over the roofs of those houses behind ours, and then the main road they were on would be below. I would float onwards into the darkness, and then at about that point, nothing. Above the main road, my memory would always go completely blank. Always. The next thing I would remember would be slowly returning back over the rooftops later in the night towards our house and my bedroom. It would always start at about the same spot over the main road where I had stopped remembering on the way out. And I would always be returning from exactly the same direction I had headed towards when I left. As I reached the roof above our house, I would stop. I would turn about 180 degrees as if aligning with my bed in the bedroom below. For a moment I would look down, barely making out the roof below in the darkness, before, whoosh, in an instant I would be back in bed. I would briefly wake up, look around my bedroom as if checking where I was, and fall instantly back to sleep. Growing up, I always considered it to be nothing more than a dream, but one I had over and over. I used to think about it sometimes. Just past the road where my memory always ceased was a huge park, so completely dark at night. I always assumed it wasn't that I was forgetting it, it was just that, as it was 100% dark from there on, I just couldn't see anything. It was never frightening. It seemed something very natural and familiar to me, and I remember being perfectly at ease with it whenever it happened, and that was frequently. It was nearly always the same, except for on one occasion, I do recall being different. I remember returning from the usual direction, but this time I was sitting in a chair. It was a hard upright chair with armrests, and my arms were resting on them. I was very upset. For some reason, I was wearing some sort of white gown, and it had pockets around it, low down. In the pockets were some chocolate bars, but I wasn't interested in them. All very bizarre. As I floated along the usual route in the darkness, back over the gardens, this time sitting in this chair, I remember being aware there were two beings, one on either side of me, silently guiding it along. It was all very sedate, but I had a distinct feeling of having been through some sort of trauma and was very upset. 
I felt a sense that the beings felt in some way responsible about whatever had happened and were personally ensuring I returned safely this time. As I said, bizarre, but just a dream. At the age of 10, we moved overseas to live. The dreams decreased a lot, and as I became a teenager, they seemed to stop altogether. At around that time, I also started experiencing sleep paralysis, waking up in the night, absolutely unable to move anything other than my eyes. Whether they are related, I don't know. One day in my early 30s, I was looking around a bookshop in the paranormal section when I saw something that blew my mind. There was a book lying face up. Its cover had a picture of a person in bed asleep at night and their soul was rising out of their body and up through the roof. I picked it up and just stood there looking at it in shock. It was about out of body experiences and I flicked through the inside. There were pictures of people floating up out of their bodies at night through the roof of looking down in the dark at the surroundings below and of flying off across the rooftops. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Did others have exactly the same dream? Then suddenly I had the thought, maybe they weren't dreams, maybe they were real. In an instant, all those dreams I had as a child went flashing past me. And I was thinking, surely not. One day, a good 20 years later, I was talking with my mom about when I was a child. And she suddenly said, we always used to wonder where you got all the chocolate bars from when you were little. When I was a child, we were fairly poor and money was very tight. We didn't have things like chocolate bars or sweets at all. She went on to say, we would find chocolate bars in all sorts of places, behind cushions, down the backs of chairs, as if you were hiding them. We could never work out where you got them from. I have learned to have an open mind to the world and try to be a critical thinker. I don't just stop believing something instantly, and equally, I don't just dismiss something quickly because it doesn't fit what I know or think. I made a profession out of dealing with seemingly impossible problems on a daily basis, breaking them down and solving them. I'm always open to considering, is this real? How can we prove or disprove it? Is there something new here to be learnt? One other aspect I recall was how I would have some sort of cord that was always attached to the back of my body. It was transparent and about one inch in diameter and ribbed, a bit like the flexible tube on a vacuum cleaner. It came out of my lower back and seemed to be able to stretch infinitely. Although I always felt if it ever broke, I would be unable to get back to my body and be effectively dead. I still have the occasional out-of-body experience. Only a few years ago one night, I awoke to find myself floating above the bed. I looked down and I could see my wife asleep in the bed below. We lived on the top floor of a block of flats. I started to slowly drift downwards at about a 45 degree angle. I went through the floor of our bedroom and found myself in a bedroom below looking down from the corner of the ceiling at two small children asleep in bed. I continued on and drifted through one of their walls and found myself looking down at their parents asleep in the bedroom next door. I kind of had a realization I shouldn't really be there and in a flash, I was back in my body, in my bed and it was over. I know for a fact out of body experiences are real from both my own and from so many others who have recounted their stories. I have no desire or need to convince anyone of it. I am sharing my experiences to help anyone else who may be discovering something similar, or for anyone wondering or interested about it. It was just one more thing that reaffirmed to me that there is much more to our existence than we realize. Our consciousness is capable of so much more than most of us are prepared to accept or even consider.